Shalom and welcome to Religion Wing TV where my spiritual ears stay. Yes, who pissed off the judge y'all? From my day ones, you know I'm a spiritual channel over here. I talk about God, but also I talk about the things of the world. And this case right here is something else. You hear me in my Kevin Hart's voice. Anyway, Tasha K and this Dennis Byron had been going head to head. And it ended up in court, guys. But before I show you the court papers, I want to go ahead and let you hear what he has to say in response to her not showing up to court. Her lawyer's not showing up to court. And here we go. But, um, guys, before we get into the video, right, let me just go ahead and say this here situation is a whole entire mess. Sometime within the last month or so, this Byron, um... Dennis Byron had went down into Tasha's house area, uh, uh, questioning, you know, inquiring, doing some journalistic research. And she had put out allegedly that he was questioning her daughter and some other kind of stuff, right? You guys go check out their pages to get more information. I'm just here to let you know that these guys ended up in court because of the you know aggression and how far will you go on these youtube streets to get the story or have beef or have content syndrome that's going around right for the clicks and the views not realizing that people livelihoods and their reputations and their aspirations and dreams and their goals are being affected along the way for tasha k and for this guy dennis byron and especially for any children involved so i want to go ahead and let you know that this started out because uh, it was him going down in Tasha's area, questioning people. Her coming out saying allegedly he um, was questioning her daughter. And now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you hear what he has to say. His response to court. I'm going to go ahead and show you some court documentation. Stay tuned and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. And enjoy this little clip it that I got from Lioness of Judah. Who again is one of the I Am A Hater Star Marie pages that was over on Instagram. Who was trying to take down K Tasha K on behalf of Cardi B. So she has been you know an advocate for Cardi B against Tasha K since those days. Um, she's also a good friend with Sweet Mouth for Life, who was the exposing Tasha K page over on IG. And that page allegedly has some witchcraft attached to it. And um, guys, I just want you to see how far this has gone. Several cases have gone to court on YouTube. We have the Five Bay VS against VS case that went to court. We have the Sean Bradley against VS. And there's probably multiple other cases that we just probably haven't heard of. So guys, I'm going to encourage you to go ahead, get what you need to get to get through this video, and I'll surely will return with the rest of my commentary. Thank you so much. Oh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Yes, I'm trying to get to 1K. I need you to hit that red box. You don't even got to hit the bell. Just hit the red box, okay? And subscribe if this uh, video uh, inspired you any helped you any show you that I have other commentary besides God and the Bible and that I have editing skills please support this channel I'm just like anybody else here on YouTube I'm trying to get to 1k but I'm trying to do it organically and um, you know without the drama without the beef and if other channels can do it then I can do it as well and if other channels are growing off on drama that's because they choose to enjoy the video Shalom hey guys so I, I'm just saying you know there is a lot of people can be doing with their time instead of hurting other people right yeah exactly but it's okay listen that's not my job to clown on her I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that but I'm gonna tell you something if anyone that knows me know I love chess chess is a, a thank you man's game and I probably don't get beat that much in chess and I've been playing chess for a long time and these are pawns, and the way you move your pawns, and your and your rooks, and your queen, and your and your and your bishops, and your knights, are this strategy. But you know, like, it's, let's go to the internet. But this is this is here where, where you show you show your content. You don't run for the fight, or stay out the fight. You ain't trying to fight. And another thing I want you to tell you guys, I grew up in the hood, so don't think I, you know, I grew up in the hood. 
I grew up in the hood. But I, I didn't let it define me. I didn't let it define me. I, I, I bust my behind for this. I bust my behind for this. So, this is the internet, you know, the YouTube, you know, YouTube channel, like YouTube blogging and everything. You don't need a degree, degree for that. It's what you put out. You know, are you helping people with, your, with, with that platform? Are you really helping people with your platform? That's very important. Are you affecting people's lives in a positive way or a negative way? You gotta ask yourself that question. And those who get enjoyment out of the, off the pain of others, you gotta take a look in the mirror of your life. So that's what I'm saying. I, I came here, you called me out, you said you wanted to fight, I came for it. But I can't waste too much time with you. I got no more time for that. I got others that a lot of people I need to be helping. I don't have time for that. You try to flip the story around, but the marathon continues. Believe that. Focus on raising your child. That energy going into your child may not be good. For real. For real. I mean, you that, you, you get enjoyment out of people's pain, that you carry a, a, a child. You, you should think about that energy. For real. You know, it's, it, you know I'm telling you, I'm not, you know, honestly, I don't really have time for it. I don't have time for it. I, I, I got to correct some things. Don't think I'm just, I'm, I don't lay down. I got to fix a few things. Understand that. I got to fix a few things. You know, because you, you, you did a few things. It's not like I'm just going to, no, no. This is, this is, this is the start of the fight. So this is round one. This was round one. This is round one. Unless you correct your ways, I mean, it's not just me. You know, like, for real. You got to stop supporting bullshit, for real. Stop supporting bullshit. Stop supporting bullshit. And if you got kids, keep them away from the bullshit. Keep them away from the bullshit. The judge was pissed off. But that person won't know, not yet. Okay, so you just heard Dennis Byron say the judge was pissed off. So obviously it was because Tasha Kay and her lawyers did not show. Here's the court document saying that she had to be to court on April 15, 2019. I will go ahead and let you guys read it for yourself what the stipulations were. And also I'm going to show you some other documentation going forward. And then we'll go ahead and get right back into Dennis uh, Byron's uh, video because he has some more things to say so here is more proof uh well more of a close-up as to you know the court documentation and also there's going to be a post that tasha made to the winos saying that you know her lawyers kept her name clean pretty much kept her from going to court but that does not say it's over with that does not say it's the end of it. According to Dennis Byron, he is going to keep it going. Uh, he just stated this is just round one. And you will hear him say, if he didn't already say, that the fight begins in the courthouse. Not on these YouTube streets. He showed up in court, but Tasha Kay and her lawyers didn't. So guys, go ahead and finish checking out the rest of these documentations. And um, these little clippets of posts that were available on social media and um i do appreciate your time actually here go to post right here tasha k um you know said to her winos these are her attorneys and obviously they sent a letter into the judge to keep her from going to court which is understandable a lot of attorneys have power and there are certain cases that are not of that great magnitude where the defendant does not have to show up in court and the lawyers can just contact the judge and um you know go from there but you guys let's get back into this video they didn't show up i mean i don't know i mean and it's, it's another it's another thing uh i mean people looking to do you know put crazy stories out there quick money grab and everything but eventually you gotta pay i mean i'll, I'll, I'll make a point Mike Tyson, in his career, he made $300 million. He has nowhere near that now. Nowhere near that now. And you think he'll be a Michael... You think he'll be a, a, a Wendy Williams? No. No, 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 no. Stop. You're not going to be a Wendy Williams. I'm telling you, sir, I remember when she was on a radio station in New York, WBLS. And I'm going to tell you what she did. I remember, like like yesterday, she pissed off Diddy. And they, they banned her from radio for two years. She had to go to Philly. Get on the station. I mean, they would play. They would not let her in the, on the radios in New York at all. But she redeemed herself. You know, 
And while a lot of people say, well, you know, what she's going through now, and this, you know, she brought it on herself, I don't know, that's not for me to, to say. But I know karma is real. Karma is real. Don't let no one lie to you and tell karma ain't real. No, no. Oh, you just talking shit. You don't know what you're talking about. I didn't get to be my age for not knowing what life is about. You know? I'm sure your dad tried to issue me a wolf ticket. Don't do that. To the 25th power or whatever. Don't do that. Because while you see me on the live, I got a lot of people. <laughs> I got a lot of people you don't even know about. Like, my people are real. Like, really. You don't want that. No, don't. Don't do it. For real. For real. I know you probably said the wrong thing to your dad. And you probably said, oh, I'm going to call that dude. I'm going to tell, tell him. But, I, you know, I've been around too. He oh, I'm old too. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Stop it. So I'm going to enjoy, you know, you know what? I got a, a I got some beautiful children, some beautiful children. One's a school teacher. Other one, doing a thing. She's doing a thing. I ain't gonna tell you anything so you can control my daughter. That ain't happening. But I'm gonna tell you something. My other ones, doing great. They ain't with the, they, none of them are entertainment. I don't want them in entertainment because I know what this industry is like. I mean, they, you know, it, it's about giving back to your community. And that's what they both, that, that's what all of them are doing. They're giving back to the community. One to dedicate it. Eight plus years in the military. I ain't she, she, she got rank in the military. She got rank in the military. Other one, school teacher. The other one, IT. The other one, she's doing a thing. I can't say what she's doing, but she's doing a thing. But think about what you're giving to your community. Think, just think about it for a second. Think about what that person's doing and ask yourself, how is that really helping the community? That's how you measure what a person does. You can throw... St- uh, you can throw stones all you want, but what the hell are you doing to the com- for the community? Seriously. Are you hurting people? Are you helping people? Right. Don't let them tell you that crap. Because, listen, I'm telling you something. This is where the fight was at. That's where the fight was at. They didn't show. They knew. Oh, all I have to do is my turns to do it. Did the attorney didn't show. He didn't show either. Or she, or whoever. You present some papers. <laughs> really? Really? Come on, stop it. You got the wrong... Listen. But it's all good. I mean, I hope you didn't... I hope you didn't pay for that. Uh, I hope you did a post as a barter. I hope you didn't pay for that. <laughs> I really hope you didn't pay for that. Because I'm going to tell you something. I saw a typo on that letter, too. <laughs> I hope you didn't pay for that, for real. Come on. Stop gassing people up, telling them, oh, my attorney's coming in. Come on. What you could have did, you could have retained counsel here in VA. I mean, your money long, right? You could have paid for attorney here. That's what I did. But what happened? I know that card works. You got the black card, don't you? Uh, guys, I'm just having fun, man. Uh, yeah, hey, listen. Hey, it's no different than Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. One's going to talk crap. Oh, they both going to talk crap. But at the end of the day, who's coming out the ring with a win? Oh, today was a win. Make no mistake. I can't tell you what the win is yet. But it was a win. It was a win. Know that. But now, I don't believe in punishing a person like too hard. While that person gets down there, I don't believe that. I think people should learn from this experience. This is an experience here. It's an experience for me, and it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be an experience for that person. But I don't think you get you can, you can go too long hurting other people because eventually that has to come to a a halt. Or, guess what? It is passed on to your family. You know, that stuff can just pass on to your family. So, it's all fun and games why, you know, you, you know you're making people laugh and giggle on the internet. But you got you to gotta think about the effect it has on other people. I can't stress, stress that point enough. So, I'm, I'm about to be out of here. I'm going to tell you, don't listen to nothing that person says about why they show. Because it was bull. I'm telling you, it was bull. All I'm saying is... You don't piss off the judge. You don't piss off the judge. Don't piss off the judge. So, I, so listen, guys. It ain't tea, it ain't wine. It's my coffee. It's my coffee. And I take it black. Peace. All right, guys, so some of the things you heard him say, he tried to refer Tasha to Wendy K. as far as her being banned from the uh, music industry. Let me just say, when you got a personality like Tasha K, you don't kiss anybody's ass, you don't let nobody shut you up, 
you have your own studio your own content and your own money backing you there's not much uh the mainstream uh music industry and the entertainment industry can do with that but allow her to do her thing right on the flip side he also um you also see uh lioness of judah in his chat um, over on IG, you know, egging him on a little bit. She she will forever be a Tasha K hater, it seems like. And then also, you know, he talks about his children, how they aspire, uh, you know, grew to, you know, be successful people. And that's what we hope for Tasha's children, especially baby K, the one she's with child, you know, now. The same baby that this exposing Tasha K page over on IG that Linus of Judah is friends with Sweet Ma and Sweet Ma was the the uh, administrator behind it there was alleged talk of witchcraft you know wishing death on Tasha K's baby Tasha I just pray you're safe out there I mean guard yourself you you got your platform you got your numbers you got your following just you do do you honey and leave the drama alone also what do I what do I want to pick out out of this you know he says don't piss the judge off and obviously we don't know if the judge is pissed off or not we weren't inside of there but allegedly he says the judge is pissed off she didn't show her lawyers didn't show he won what do you guys think about it down below let me know what your thoughts are and um also let me go on to say that some people would assume Tasha K is fighting against an Uncle Tom, a, a black man who kissed the ass of the white European Caucasian man. Well, you know, he seems like he has a nice personality. I'm not here to judge anybody, but he seems like a fairly decent guy. And, and again, I don't know his stilo, how he's out here uh, in her neighborhood interviewing, you know, people and allegedly her daughter. And I don't know if there was any other accusations against her daughter with this man. But um, we do know people like to accuse people of pedophile, pedophilia behavior, especially Tasha K. you know, when it comes to certain things. So I haven't heard anything like that, but I'm almost certain that there's some rumors probably going around that she probably alleged he was, you know, trying to come on to her daughter or questioning her daughter. Don't quote me on that. But um, that was just my opinion. Also, let me see, I heard in the second half of it that the, the, the fight starts in the courthouse. And I know a lot of people are ashamed to go to court when people are harassing them and bullying them and, and stalking them on these YouTube streets. But my advice to anybody is if somebody coming at you too aggressively and you don't want it to affect your platform, your livelihood... I would suggest to get the cops involved because we've seen the extremes people will go through. Mainly Tasha K here. She had went over to uh, Alana Brown's page, doxed her kids. Seven Stars was involved with that. They posted everything on social media. She had allegedly had to go to court for that. Um, there's been numerous people that Tasha K have went out there and doxed and exposed her and Mona Simone was going at it at one point in time so where do we draw the line especially with child because like he said don't give your baby that negative energy Tasha relax you're gonna have the baby and soon enough you'll get back out here now that whole damn interview Tasha you did with that man I'm gonna just throw this in here Avion Foster I'm coming back live to talk about that okay also the Wendy Williams host Kelvin Hunter scandal with Sh Sharika Nikki Charlamagne the God so yes Tasha does get her hands involved with a lot of things sometimes she gets them dirty sometimes Tasha K fumbles the ball and get it wrong but is she wrong in this instance for not showing up to court is this man right about some of the things he says I appreciate the way he clapped back without cursing and you know being very classy with it but does is this going to hold up in court so with that being said you all let me know what your thoughts are about this whole crazy ass entire mess and how people just keep going the limits to push you know the envelope to be the baddest youtuber but in my eyes everybody is making themselves look like a damn fool and i usually don't call anybody a fool according to matthew 5 and 22 but it, it's the foolish behavior 
that has our community still struggling to be civil in this world. So we can't blame it on the white man, the devil. You have to assume responsibility for it. So with that being said, it's such a shame that people can't talk before they go to court and solve their issues and, and deal with it, you know, privately. But God does says in his word, whatever you do in secret, he surely will reward you openly. And guys, this is the open reward that most people seek after, which is shame. And I think this is a shameful situation. And again, let me know what your thoughts are down below about Tasha K going head to head with Dennis Byron, who allegedly was in her neighborhood questioning her daughter and other people about her. She got mad and clapped back at him, and they ended up in court. The court date was April 15, 2019. Tasha K and her attorneys did not show up. But Dennis Byron did, and he said she pissed the judge off. Do you agree with that? Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And let's get this conversation going because I will be going live talking about this whole entire mess of a mess. But the one thing of it I know is when there's a mess, God can always turn it into a message. So I will either see you on the next upload, premiere, or live. Thank you so much for tuning in to Religion Wink TV, where my spiritual ears stay. Shalom. Thank you all. God bless. Have a great day.